Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. So it seems a lot of people have been watching and enjoying XNix home screen Infinity. Quite a lot of you, in fact. Well then, would you like to see his next creation? This one is titled Exposed, and don't worry, it's using Apex Launcher, slightly easier to use than SS Launcher. Let us begin with today's tutorial right now. Bam! This home screen is truly amazing. It follows XNix simple, minimal, clean designs, all combining into a fully functional, sophisticated home screen. Now, if you're looking at the screen, you might be thinking, well, where did all the icons go? Watch this. Tapping that brings up this awesome little sidebar, complete with all your notifications that you need, icons, as well as the time. Awesome stuff. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you want a nice, clean wallpaper again, close the drawer, it goes away. Let us begin. I'll show you just the quick settings on the side here, just so I'm not, I don't have to go through every single one of these, as it's quite simple to set up. So next, we're gonna go options, wallpaper quick pick wallpaper so now we'll go to wallpaper where i've saved it and select it okay so if you're using quick pick it's got these little as you can see it fills up the entire screen that is what you want you want these crop things to be all the way on each corner if not you might have to change the wallpaper within the psd provided as you can see this is this fits perfectly on a galaxy s2 but a nexus 4 or a galaxy s3 it might be slightly different but you'll yeah, always check that it fits each corner like that so going save you'll see that it works, that's one screen, second screen. Great, starting with this screen, we'll just quickly hold down, go Apex Actions, and go to Screen 2 Jumper. I love these things, a lot of people are starting to use them, and it looks really, really good. All you have to do is select it and put it, I've already put one here, so if we have to put it here, we'll go Edit, and you just wanna change it, select it, and go Select Picture, and you wanna change it to a blank PNG. The wiring, I'll provide one in the link below. So there we have a blank PNG, we'll select it, and we'll go OK. So now, what happens is, when you tap it, it jumps to screen two. What I've done here is added three, one, two, three in a row here, so you can quickly minimize the draw. Just by tapping that, draw is gone. Tapping again, brings it up again. Great. Let's move on to our UCCW widgets. Now these widgets are really easy to set up, but they might take one or two adjustments. But don't worry, it's really easy to do. So your second screen should look like this. So we'll start off with our time, hold down widgets, and you want to download and install UCCW before you start this. So we'll go to UCCW. For our clock, we want a two by two. Now if you've copied that entire folder onto your phone, that's great. You'll go open user, find where you saved it. So if you saved it in exposed, and you go to UCCW, you look for the one called time. Obviously I've already installed it, so you'll just go, you just have to tap it, and then there it is. As you can see, it's a bit small, so we just have to resize it. So as you can see, it's a little bit off center. So if we just tap it and go select object, time, position, and you just go one, two, three, one, two. And for the date you go one, one, two, three, one, two. And there we go, it's a bit more in position. If it's a Nexus 4, it might be exactly in position and you won't have to do this. But this is just adjusting for the other phones. So you can do it just once more. Remember to go select faster movement as it saves a lot of time. And you just go back and you can just save it, see, perfectly in position. What you need now is these three icons or these three widgets here, which is your battery, your messaging, as well as your email. So you'll do the same, you'll go UCCW, but now for all of these, it's a one by one size. So you'll select one by one. So here's one for email. As you can see, it's quite teeny tiny, so we're gonna resize it. I'm just gonna show you Gmail because the other ones are quite straightforward. Gmail is a bit different, you just have to set it up. You'll just go select object, Gmail. You wanna select, and it's got all the way, accounts, you want your account, you want your label to be an inbox. Great. Just have to resize it a bit, and there we go. Like I said, if it's a little bit off center, make sure that you got your size right, and then just go into it and move it around. Finally, for these icons over here, you have two options. Either by clicking on an icon from your, home, from your app drawer, dragging it on and placing it. It might not be 100%, but it's close enough. Your second option is to go into your widgets, desktop visualizer, choose a one by one. As you can see, it's slightly better organized. So for each of them, you can just go edit. For this one, you'd go select picture and you always do a blank PNG. Go okay. For desktop visualizer, you'll just select it, select icon, image, blank PNG again, select action. For this one, it'd be your phone. My phone has disappeared now. I actually have no idea where it is. I think my phone just uninstalled it. So I'll go voice data for now. Just go clear the label. You can take, take off the effect if you want and go okay. And there it is. Both give the same effect. And do not worry about getting icons 
I've added the Play Store here and you can still see by tapping that icon it still brings up the Play Store and tapping that will still bring up your browser like that. So it doesn't always have to be 100%, it'll still definitely work. And there we have our home screen for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it folks. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. Our playlists are growing so you might want to check them out as well. So subscribe now and avoid disappointment of missing out on these tutorials. Thank you very much guys.